Samsung's introduction of super steady in-camera stabilization on the new Galaxy S10 series may have you wondering whether you need to pick up a gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 in order to capture buttery smooth video right out of camera. And well, it really depends on what you plan on capturing. Over the last few weeks, I've been experimenting with all the different camera features of the Galaxy S10. Check out my last video for a three minute demo of my 20 favorite features. But in this video, I'm gonna dive a little deeper into super steady mode. In my initial testing, the S10 definitely keeps up with the Osmo Mobile 2 while walking or running in good lighting conditions. When filming, I was quite skeptical that the S10 would be able to capture anything meaningful given the amount of motion I induced while running with the phone in an outstretched hand. But honestly, I'm very happy with the results. The ability to capture such steady footage in camera without having to lug around additional equipment is a testament to how far smartphone cameras have come. It's worth noting that you are limited to capturing super steady footage at 1080p, not full 4K, like optically stabilized shots from the S10. Additionally, the field of view is restricted to one angle that lies somewhere between the standard wide angle lens on the S10 and the new ultra wide angle lens. This is because everything is captured through the ultra wide lens, then is cropped down a little when the footage is processed for stability in camera. You could probably attach a clip on lens to alter the field of view if you really needed to, but I haven't been able to try that out since the moment lenses I use don't mount over the ultra wide lens. Traditionally, smartphone gimbals have been great for stabilizing footage from the front facing camera. However, even though the S10 selfie cam doesn't boast optical image stabilization and it doesn't formally use the super steady feature, I have no complaints with the footage I've been able to capture using standard stabilization. Now, super steady isn't flawless. In poor lighting conditions, the phone seems to struggle to find the necessary details in the surroundings to stabilize the footage. This results in video that can be bumpy with distortions popping up as Super Steady tries to correct the footage. So if you regularly need to shoot in dark conditions, you'll probably still want to pick up an Osmo Mobile 2, which you can do using the link below. Both the Osmo Mobile 2 and the S10 also have the ability to shoot hyperlapses, as well as time lapses. Though time lapses aren't a formal feature of the S10, you can create them using the hyperlapse feature, and the results are similar to the Osmo. It's worth noting that the Osmo's object tracking feature can be quite helpful though, both during hyperlapse and generally if you're just trying to keep an object in frame. One big advantage of the Osmo is the ability to capture motion lapses using up to five predefined positions, both side to side as well as up and down. The results of this can be quite captivating. Overall, I'm really impressed with the super steady mode on Samsung's Galaxy S10. If you decide to pick up an S10, you probably don't need to rush out to buy a gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. But for 130 US dollars, I would be hard pressed to say that this gimbal's value doesn't outweigh its cost. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please let me know by leaving a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.